Happy 2020, YouTube! Today I'm bringing you an extra special machine. You might remember an earlier challenge I did to build a flyable airplane in the original Besiege version .01. This was difficult because the first draft of Besiege lacked many of the parts and building tools we now take for granted. But still, you might consider my use of flying spirals to be an easy way out, since they provide convenient thrust while taking up minimal space and giving no unwanted reaction torques. So, I decided to revisit this challenge. My goal was to build the best helicopter I could in Besiege version .01, powered only by aerodynamic parts. The main challenge here is that, in the first draft of Besiege, there was no way to flip the propeller blades so you couldn't have rotors spinning in opposite directions to cancel out their torques. My first idea to deal with this problem was to use wings on steering blocks as makeshift props. Due to a glitch, the torques don't exactly cancel, so I put the rotors on a swivel joint to get around that. Control turned out to be the biggest problem with this design. I tried tilting the rotor and shifting the weight, and neither moved the helicopter forward. Plus, the rotors were already lifting about as much weight as they could before I even tried to add steering. So, back to the drawing board. My next idea was to have horizontal and vertical props rotating against each other all on a swivel. The horizontal prop uses the vertical one to push against the air instead of the helicopter, so it can produce lift without exerting a reaction torque. This stronger, more compact system made it possible to build a functioning quadcopter within the bounding box. But not having the props on one side flipped to mirror the other caused asymmetry. So while the helicopter rose evenly, it pulled sharply to the right when it went forward. After a lot of experimentation, I found that I could mostly counteract that with carefully positioned prop wings. And with that, I finally had a design I kind of liked. But when I went to use it in the current version of Besiege, I ran into a problem. The rotors produced less lift in the Unity 5 physics engine, so my helicopter didn't have enough power. So I went on a design binge, adding more power, and more weapons and utilities, and even more power to lift the new upgrades, until I finally came up with the ultimate quadcopter for all versions of Besiege. Without further ado, I proudly present the Da Vinci Dragon. The Da Vinci Dragon comes armed with nine bombs and six cannons. It has six wheels with suspension to land smoothly and drive, so you don't have to do all your maneuvering in the air. And its high-powered props make it a strong cargo helicopter. Having horizontal and vertical props means there's a lot of air drag in all directions of movement. This limits the helicopter's top speed. But it also makes it easier to control during tight maneuvers and to aim while dropping bombs. The skin of these propeller blades might look unfamiliar, because it was only used through Besiege version .03. The version .04 update gave us the current propeller skin, and the ability to flip their orientation. Now to move on to the current version of Besiege. To demo the Da Vinci Dragon's flying ability, I'm taking it to one of the best maps for testing helicopters, Sade's Dubai Search and Rescue. I positioned the corrective prop wings so the machine flies straight and true in level flight. But it's not perfect. When the machine goes forward and up, it drifts slightly to the right. And when diving downward, it goes a little to the left. Still, I'd say the balance isn't too shabby, considering the extremely lopsided aerodynamics. Also, note the single propeller blade on the left rear. I added that to make it fly straight in Unity 5 Besiege. But in Unity 4 Besiege, versions .11 and before, you'll want to delete that to balance it in the older physics engine. If you do fly the Da Vinci Dragon in both versions, you'll find that the control is quicker in Unity 4, but smoother and more precise in the current Unity 5. 
Despite the difference in response and the apparently greater lift from the props in Unity 4, the time to cross Zen 3 is about the same in both physics engines, consistently very close to 3.5 seconds. There are a couple other quirks of the very early Besiege game that I didn't get around to mentioning in the intro. In version .01, the short wood block would not connect to a perpendicular block at its top. So to get around that, I had to use the long wood block. Though the long block shortens to fit, it still weighs the same, so that adds a little extra weight to the design. The short block's top connection point was soon modified to the way it is now in Besiege version .02. Also, the cannon was much weaker in version .01. The cannonball just sort of lazily lobbed out, so thankfully they gave the cannon more power in version .02. In case anyone missed it, I want to mention that before the version .85 update, Spiderlink posted a development diary about the final campaign island. The post includes images and a brief description of the fourth island, called Krolmar. It's a desert land with subtle ancient Arabian and Egyptian styling cues, and plenty of its own unique flair, too. I'm really excited about the prospect of exploring a new island, and seeing what creative challenges the developers can imagine. So you might wonder, if I'm looking forward to new updates, why do I keep building in old versions of the game? It's because Flight and Besiege has been pretty well conquered, so I wanted to add a new layer to the challenge. And the result is a machine that can reach places few others can, the forbidden airspace of the earliest versions of Besiege. This zone, or this load, provides a good mix of flying, bombing, and driving. This unusual quadcopter layout has a couple advantages over the traditional design. For one, it lets you stagger the rotors for a compact footprint while still being symmetrical. Also, you don't have to dedicate as many powered wheels to achieve control. Here, I'm running the rotors in reverse to reach down for the gold. I split the downforce over two different keys to regulate the strength, because full downforce in Unity 4 Besiege can break the machine. Now that the dragon has secured its gold, it shall unleash its fury on the unsuspecting final castle of Valfros. Dracaris. If you're not careful, it is possible to blow yourself up by dropping a bomb on your landing gear and accelerating into it. This is especially hazardous in Unity 4 Besiege with its jerky acceleration. One way around that is to stay level while dropping bombs. Or you can gain a lot of altitude so you can do a controlled glide until you're over the bombing target. Or you can just YOLO. So there you have it, the Da Vinci Dragon, a primordial helicopter that can hang with today's choppers. Please take it for a test flight at the Steam Workshop linked below. I'll also post the machine save file on the forum to download, so you can use it in earlier versions of Besiege.